As a district, we have been dreaming big about the possibilities for our students. We want them to be able to think early on about what does life mean for me after school. When our kids graduate from high school, we want them to leave with the skill set to own their future. Jolie Johnson is our newest elementary school, and the design concept actually fits with our strategic plan. The Next Gen Design came about as a result of our student collaboration, our teacher collaboration. Students influence a lot of what we do. Our library was designed by a group of Cedar Ridge High School students, and some of their goals with designing this library was to make it an inclusive space that was welcoming, a warm environment. Dell asked us to design a library of the future. They wanted to know from students what would be best to be new libraries and what's best for us to be able to learn. The plan was do not give them any constraints. Let their minds wander, let their creativity show. They didn't want to give us their help or her input because they truly wanted to know what it was we were trying to do with the Library of the Future. We try to make it more innovative, more spacious. We try to design libraries with conference rooms, with interactive spaces for people to work together and also relaxing spaces like lounge areas around the bookshelves. The first time we walked in, they felt more real than anything. Like, this is what I designed, this is what came to life. I think it's important to prepare them for the real world. It gives students the opportunity to be able to learn authentically what's outside of the brick and mortar of the high school. It also gives them a chance to experience and, and learn more about what they want to do later on in life. Today's business leaders understand that our students are tomorrow's workers. And by bringing those two together and aligning curriculum and studies, they're going to be both well served. We're all now working towards a common goal of success for our children. One of the biggest design innovations I would say that we have is transparency in our classrooms. We have these beautiful collaborative spaces between buildings that are a common area. And the intention, the why behind those spaces is for children to be able to come out and collaborate and communicate, create all of those critical success skills that we need children to have. The doors lead out to an extension of the classroom. So not only the kids can be working inside the classroom, it also expands out there into the common space where there's another selection of seating where the kids can choose to work. We want our children to think about the question why with everything they're doing. So we have a mix of technology per grade level. So instead of assigning one device per student, we ask the children to think about their learning experience. What's the purpose here? And which device will best support me in meeting that purpose? In normal schools, we usually write on papers. And then in Jolie, we do most of our work on computers. They feel like they can take more ownership because they have it in their hands and that they can actually submit it. I can look at it. We can work together. It lets our classroom flow quicker. And it seems more real to them. It's what they see every day. It makes learning easier. For example, you could go to Google Classroom and it's right there and you could log in to think through math very quick. Dell's been a big partner for us. We are using Chromebooks, laptops, we've got desktop computers, we've got interactive LCD panels. Having the different technology available in our library is just another way that they can come together to collaborate and research and create we also have a partnership that is supported by Dell, providing professional learning for our teachers embedded within the school day throughout the year. Our students, as much as they love technology in Round Rock, they know that the teacher is more important than any tool that they can possibly have in the classroom. There is no barrier between our children and the world when we have this level of technology. 